In the given equation, c is a constant. The equation has no real solutions if c is greater than n. What is the least possible value of n? So we have this quadratic, x squared minus 34x plus c is equal to 0. And we need to find the value of n such that c is greater than n while maintaining that there are no real solutions. And we want the least possible value of n. So to find the intervals during which the quadratic has no solution, we can find the discriminant, which is equal to b squared minus 4ac. So in this case, the value of b is negative 34, since it's the coefficient of the x term. a is equal to 1, since it's the coefficient of the x squared term. There's an invisible 1 here. And c is just c in this case, because we don't know the value of the constant. So now we can calculate the discriminant. So b squared is 34 squared, or negative 34 squared minus 4 times 1 times c. And in order for this equation to have no solution, the discriminant has to be less than 0. Because when the discriminant is equal to 1, that means there's one solution. And when the discriminant is equal is greater than 1, it has no sol it has two solutions, but when the discriminant is less than zero, it has no solution. So now let's simplify this inequality. Negative 34 squared is just equal to positive, whoops, 34 times 34, which is just equal to 1,156 minus 4c. We just distributed the negative 4. This has to be less than 0. So now let's isolate for c. Let's move the 4c to the other side. So we'll have 1,156 on this side and 4c on this side. Then let's divide both sides by 4 to get c alone. So 1,156 divided by 4 is equal to 289. So this means that c has to be greater than 289. Because if c is greater than this number, this makes the discriminant negative. So c has to be greater than 289 in order for the equation to have no real solution. So that means in the inequality c must be greater than n, n is equal to 289. So the least possible value of n is 289.